I don't hate Fred Phelps and Westboro Baptist Church the way most people do. One of the biggest reasons for this is because I actually have identification with them. I'm not a homophobic person, so that's not my identification. I'm not a fundamentalist, that's not my identification. I'm not a Christian, that's not my identification. Like them, I have a lot of venom in me, and I have manifested it in the ways they have. Right now, I'm doing very intensive soul searching. I want to improve myself and achieve my goals. Right now, I'm focusing, zooming in on Westboro Baptist Church because it represents a layer of my soul I am seeking to remove, the moral crusader level of my soul. This level of the soul is ineffective and it prevents me from getting what I want. I see myself in Fred Phelps in Westboro Baptist Church, thus I can't hate them. And I would like to read you a position paper from the autonomy party, the political party I have. And this represents my view since I am a member of the autonomy party, a founder in fact, and thus the changes I make in my personal life reflect the party. As you can see, I have some of the same themes as Fred Phelps does, and this was before I even cared two wits about Fred Phelps. I talk about how you're either 100% against abortion and alcohol or 100% for it, and those who are not doing anything about it are the opposite. Take a close look at what I write and see the comparisons, and this is why I need to change. I want to be an iconoclast a revered iconoclast and a moral crusader is not a revered iconoclast. Autonomy Party Paper 143 A Pro-Life Pledge by Andrew Bouchard Before I get started, I would like to say this is no longer a valid position of our political party. We have repealed it. We are still pro-life, but we are not this way. In my book, Abortion is Murder, 2005, I suggest that law enforcement departments should mandate pro-life pledges as one method to stop abortion. I have been asked what these pledges would look like. I have now created a detailed pledge for law enforcement departments. I recommend that departments require these pledges. If an officer refuses to take this pledge, the officer should no longer be employed by the department. If a department captain is unwilling to require these pledges, then we should know the captain cannot be considered pro-life. The autonomy party is once again the trendsetter because our membership form contains a mandatory pro-life pledge. Our party is tolerant of many different points of view, but for the most important matters, we have deal breakers. Since law enforcement agents have such mighty power, we should make certain that only pro-lifers enter their ranks. That last line really reminds me of what Fred Phelps said in his Bush is a Gay Pimp video. Any or all the following may constitute a law enforcement office pledge. I pledge that I am pro-life. I pledge that I am not pro-choice or pro-abortion. I pledge to use my position and its powers and privileges to advance the pro-life cause. I pledge to refuse to assist abortionists. I pledge that I will try to arrest abortion doctors and to interfere with abortions whenever possible. I pledge that I will not consider complaints of interference with abortion procedures to be valid. I pledge that I am unequivocally on the pro-life side. I pledge to refuse to obey pro-choice laws. I pledge to object to any orders or instructions which serve to continue or further the pro-choice system. I pledge to not use the law as an instrument and tool of the abortionists. I pledge to destroy the, abor the abortion industry if I can. I pledge that Planned Parenthood is the enemy of humanity. I pledge that I believe abortion is murder. Police departments do not have to wait until Roe v. Wade is overturned to start fighting abortion. Police departments can immediately fight abortion by mandating pro-life oaths.